Hey guys, it's Ralph. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good on this Wild Out Wednesday. Me, I am doing great. I'm doing fabulous. I'm relaxing. It's raining outside and I love the rain. I love to hear the rain hit the roof. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Thank you. Namaste. Love and blessings to you if you're a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for coming back and much love to you. Um, you guys, everything has <laughs> been going crazy. My video today is about surrendering and learning how to let go. Jesus, <laughs> take the wheel. <laughs> it's just been so crazy because um, I've been getting more signs and more signs on things are yet to come. Big things are coming. Um, and it's just like I've had to learn how to surrender because there's things that I thought I had, like I told you in many videos before, I'm learning how to let go of things and it's just like it's so hard to do that when you do not have all the answers. You just get bits and pieces from this person, bits and pieces from that person and it's just memories start flooding, fluttering back from my childhood which is very painful and I have to learn how to let go of that and it was you know, it's just living for the rest of my life knowing that I never got a chance to physically reconnect back with my father again. It, it hurts a little bit. It, it really does. And that's something that I have to live with for the rest of my life. And it's just the love that we still have for each other. It's never changed, but it's actually growing stronger. And it is just like when you are going through something and it can be so painful. We have to learn how to let go of it. If we want to make room for the good things in life, our blessings that are yet to come, we cannot get that until we learn how to let go of the bad. You know, it's just the past. You know, the past, yes, that is very painful. But I, trust me, I know it is very painful. Um, right now, I'm just like right now listening to music. It's like the morning, it's like morning music for relaxing, positive energy. And it, it just feels so good to actually listen to stuff like that because it, it's just like I don't know release all this craziness <laughs> it's been kind of difficult because I have to pray meditate I've been doing my violet uh flame prayer uh non-stop because it's, it's just like things just keep piling up keep piling up and I'm just like you know what things are going to get better because I know God did not bring me this far for me to go through all this for no apparent reason and all this work I've done you know um and then just learning how to surrender it, it's just like when things are that painful we have to learn how to let them go we have to learn how to let them go and I know sometimes it can be hard it can be very hard because you don't understand why. Why did you have to go through this? Why did this person do this to you? Why did you have to lose this? Or why did this have to get taken away? We will never have the answers to that. But trust that further down the line, it had a purpose. It had a meaning. It, it, it's just like nothing is going to get taken away from us that is not going to be replaced with something better. And I have to learn that every day to be a better person is just learning how to live, like my dad said, like a mirror. Be happy. Learn how to be happy. If you want to find God, you want to find your way home. When you find God, you found your way home. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to walk in a better light. <laughs> trying to walk in a better light. Because then it, days it can be tough. You know, you can bump heads with somebody. Or your day can just start off just really messed up. But you have to think positive, like, okay, it might have started off like this, but it's not going to definitely end this way. And there's a lot of things that I have to learn how to, you know, just how certain, if there's certain people that are going to act a certain way, that doesn't mean that you have to react to it. You can just leave it alone. You know, they can't spark a fire if, you know, you put it out real quick. You throw water on it, they're not going to be able to start it back up again. So I just learned how to leave, leave it alone, like, oh, okay. Now I see why my dad makes a lot of faces when people say certain things to him, and he just doesn't say anything, but the face just tells it all. Like, I know they didn't just say that to me. Like, okay. <laughs> so it, it's just, we have to learn how to let go. You have to learn how to let go. I know it can be painful. It can be downright disturbing. 
but we have to learn how to let it go. It's just like when I look at things that I went through with my family, and I know if I wouldn't have went through these things, I wouldn't be making these videos now. It wouldn't be making me feel better, because it's just like when I make these videos, it actually makes me feel better. And just to know that, you know, somebody could be going through something too. And if you're trying to explain to yourself, you're trying to concept, like, why, you try to figure a concept, like, why, why am I constantly going through this? And it, it's just like, with me, I just, I know my blessings are right there. I keep hearing my dad say, you know what, just stop, stop worrying. Everything's right, right around the corner. Don't worry about it. Everything's working out exactly how it's supposed to be. Just go with the flow. And sometimes it's hard to do. <laughs> it really is. It's, sometimes it's hard to do when the devil is just like steady knocking on your door. It is hard, but you got to learn how to not answer that. Just like, okay, bye. <laughs> you just keep it moving. Just learn how to let it go. And that's what I'm doing every day. And it makes me feel so much better when you go through things and I talk to people and and it makes me feel feel really good when um when I learn something new. And it's just like you learn from each other and it's just like different people that that love my dad and they you know, they send me emails and text messages. Thank you so much, Cassandra, for the chit chat that me and you have it really really made me feel good and it feels good to actually know that there's somebody else out there like me so um you guys i'm not trying to hold you up and i will be stopping by some some people's videos and dropping some comments and saying what's up because i haven't heard from them in a long time and i said i apologize that i keep on saying i'm gonna come by and visit but it's just been so crazy between work life now i'm a grandmother <laughs> so i have my grandbaby and so that's been keeping me busy too. So um, it's just been really busy. So actually, I, like I said, there's just really been very good blessings that's coming along. So, um, so I'm telling you, it's just like when you learn how to let go of things and surrender, you make room for the good things that are coming out of life. So peace, love, blessings to my beloved. And wow.